All right, good morning. Good morning. Um, diabetic number two? Yes. And uh, can you mind a little introduction? And um, My name is Shelley, and I'm from Gardner, Kansas. And um, I had the MGB yesterday. I was second in line. And um, I feel really good this morning, except for a little shoulder pain. That's and I rested really well last night. Good. Eating, taking yes, liquids? Yes. Good. And that's going six, down kind of okay? Of and little bits of crackers. Good. Yes. Going down okay. I have a very sore throat this morning. That's me. Okay. Um, we put the breathing tube in. That can irritate the back. Okay. But we also put down another big plastic tube also, which we use to sew and guide our creation of the new stomach. Okay. So for a period of time, you've got two kind of big plastic garden hoses in the back of your throat. Okay. And with putting them in and all that, it can rub. and. We actually kind of use this as a little bit of a badge of honor because if you can have major abdominal surgery and the biggest complaint be a sore throat, we're right. kind of like... <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's probably kind what's of, bothering me the world. <laughs> yeah. 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 And that does take some time to get better. It yeah. should get better, though. It's, it's better today okay. already. Good. Well, yeah. Again, that's not another good reason that pain medicine. And your sugar bumped last night a bit. Yes, it did. Okay. And that is a part of the stress response. It's very common, even in people who are not diabetic, they're often pre-diabetic and their sugar will go up in the, right after surgery. Right. And, uh, but yours is going to go down if you're like our other patients, yeah. and we expect every day to get better and better. Yeah, it's down, down this morning about 50 points already. That's what we expect. Now, when you leave to go to the hotel, you brought your glucometer? Yes. Okay, we want you to measure your sugars. Okay with, I think we talked about the airplane landing yes. analogy yesterday enough that basically we want your sugars to come down. Right. We can stand it if they're slightly high. Okay. We can't stand it if they're too low. Exactly. Okay. okay. So if they're 190s and 200s for a couple of days, I'm okay with that. Okay. I just can't stand a 40. Oh, no, me either. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. And high blood pressure? I do have high blood pressure. So the same thing is going to be with measuring your blood pressure. If you don't have it, um, stopping by Walmart or Walgreens and getting one of those little wrist blood pressure cuffs okay. and measure your blood pressure with that wrist cuff three, four, five times a day. Okay. If your blood pressure is slightly high, that's a long-term risk. Okay. But we don't expect it to stay high for very long. Right. So what we would like you to do is measure that and stay in touch with it. As long as your blood pressure is in the 150s, 160s, that's something we wouldn't want for 20 years, right. but we're fine with today okay. and for next week. So Anything, yeah. questions, any? No. Okay. If you ha had a comment to send out to the Internet. Uh, I would say this is the best thing I've ever done for myself. I anticipate great things, and I'm so glad that I found you. Oh. Maybe really? <laughs> from, from the heart. That comes from yeah. the heart. Uh, she's reading from a script. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very kind. I'm very excited. Good, good, good. All right. Thank you.